This time we are going to show you how to set up grids in Fruit. Grids are used to form the page layout and to structure the content rationally. Using grids can be helpful for a web designer or web developer when placing elements in order. I won't speak about the whole grid system. However, right now I am going to show you how to set up a column grid and also a baseline grid. I'll start with the column grid which you can find under the view tab. First of all, I'll show you how you can turn it on and off the grids with our grid controls. It's super, super easy. Simply click on the slider. You can choose the overlay or you can turn it off completely if you like. You can change the column width and also the column count depending on your needs. A great thing about column grids is that you can have a different count of grids in every breakpoint. For example, four columns in the 480 breakpoint. Let's see how it works. Now let's take a look at a basic grid. You can leave it as a pixel grid or if you set the horizontal step to zero pixels you get a baseline grid which is handy when working with typography. Establishing a typographic hierarchy improves readability and creates harmony within the text. To change the vertical step simply drag the slider or you can also write specific pixels in the input field if you need. Another handy feature is the Snap to Widgets property which you can turn on and off just as you wish. Let me demonstrate how it works. There we go. That's about it.